Hey, it's been a while. I mean, it probably won't be a while for you, but it's been a while for me. I have not played this game in like a week. <laughs> and... <laughs> there was some interference, some background noise and stuff. And... Like in the last video because of the new mic. And... It took me... Like a full five days to figure it out. Oh, hello. And then what, just hello. Yeah. Have a oh, uh, goodbye. Mommy. Completely forgot everything. So hopefully I can just go into default mode. Cause I usually have. D do I have ashes? Do I have ashes to give to old old lady to buy the uh, thing? Try to poison kill him. Yeah, I I've. Oh hi, you're alive. Ah. Uh... Huh. Like I said, I have forgotten everything because it's been... It, 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 it's been a bit. You are free to leave me alone. But normally I have... Like a default path that I kind of go through. And I can just... Follow the path. Which... Normally works out pretty well if I've forgotten what I've been doing. But for this area specifically, it's kind of weird because I have to like double back and go over the same area twice. Alright, no. Hmm. Which means I've done that. I have. Alright, got him. Let's see. Cell key. Alright, yeah, grave key. Okay. Have I gotten arena? I don't know. Have I have I fully done this area? I'm I got the transposing kiln, so I'm guessing so. But also the three fires in Farron Keep. You can see them from a few different locations. It's really really cool. But I'm just going to assume that we did everything last time and move on. <laughs> Hi, you things are horrifying. They're kind of weird because on one hand, they're really easy to kill because they just like don't fight back. Until they sprout their wings very painfully. On the other hand, once they do sprout their wings, they attack fast and they do a lot of damage. Alright. Corbin right knife. You can get like a knife, you can get the scythe, and you can get the staff. Alright. No, no, no. I mean, you guys are the scythe ones. You aren't as scary. Hi. Don't do that. These things aren't scary at all. <laughs> now. It's been a long while since I've played this game. And. <laughs> yeah, I should probably put this on. I know there's a ring here at some point, but <laughs> during the first playthrough, I kept checking around because I was like, I know there's a ring here, but I can't remember if it's a new game ring or a new game plus ring. Because it's like I had the broad 
knowledge of like I know there's a ring here, but I didn't remember the specific knowledge of is that a first run, second run, what? Because the broad knowledge of there's a ring there and like where to go that sticks with you. Oh boy. But some of the more minor detail knowledge that tends to get eroded with time. And that's something I've been noticing a lot recently is a lot of the games that I'm playing are games that I used to play and used to play a lot of, but then stopped. Like Dark Souls 3, things like Overwatch. And a lot of the a lot of the details have just vanished. Hi. Hello. For some reason, half the time these dogs like to just run off the side of the cliff. And I never understand why, but... Nope, come on, Zring. I mean... I guess they're just so excited that they forget gravity exists. Or don't look at where they're walking. Also, something else that I noticed while kind of watching over the last video is because I'm using a controller this time, because I used mouse and keyboard on the first run, controller is quieter, but I also hold it closer to the mic. And you can hear me clicking the buttons a lot. At least R3 for the lock-on. Hopefully me readjusting the like volumes fixes that. At least for the most part. But I'll try to keep that in mind also. Henry. Oh, hello. How do you do? I am at this is I we are beyond we can make the next man. High A tier, low S tier. They could go either way. They're really cool. Something that I actually didn't know for a long time. Because I go through these games and this series kind of by myself. I don't interact with the community a whole lot. Like, I, I really like to figure out things on my own, which sometimes that takes longer. Sometimes you don't find things. That's whatever. I think it's fine. But something I found out is Anri's voice is always the opposite gender of whatever character you're playing. So you play a male character, they're female. You play female, they're male. Probably because you can get married and, I don't know, the game developer didn't like that. <laughs> S tier. Best NPC. Great dialogue. Oh yeah, he's not took without. We are the only man that me. I mean, honestly, he's like B tier. I do think he's funny. I mean, he just growls at you. It's like, ah, no, he's nice. He's just not very talkative. Which I definitely get that. Not the nice part, the, the, the not talkative part. 100% understand. Dupe. In New Game Plus, you don't... You really don't need to go everywhere and do everything. Because you already have... A lot. But that's just kind of the default of how I do things. That was easier than expected. Our katana's actually good. 
have I been smack talking katanas all these years without realizing they're actually pretty decent? I'm not like I hate katanas. I was just always a little put off by the <laughs> non-existent durability. Which, yeah, here's another place you can see him. I know th there's like a certain specific angle. Yeah, right here. One, two, three. And then you can go up on that bridge. So there's like a gap there. And on the right side of the bridge is where you first get placed down in the undead settlement. And then the left side is the area where you go up. Uh, in Farron Keep. And you can see it from there as well. Hello, you're free to ignore me. I was actually thinking about going as one of those guys for No Game Plus 2. I might... I might record that not as like a full run, but as... As like how to get all the sorceries and miracles and pyromancies. And then New Game Plus 3 as how to get all the rings. Hi. <clears throat> Alright, that's good. That's a lot of damage. Hi. Nice. I don't know why, but for some reason, I keep getting pants way more than anything else. It's like, I'm just a lone warrior going around collecting the pants of my enemies. Like, a lot of the... Don't poke me. But a lot of the covenants, the reward is like some kind of body part. So it, it'd be here. So like, this is an ear, this is a tongue, this is like a hip bone. This is like something you'd cough up at three in the morning. So not all of them are body parts, but like half of them are. And pants aren't a body part, but... Hi. But... Pants are something you carry on your person. Just like ears and hip bones. Yeah, basically the same, right? I keep forgetting how weird this area is. Because... The Soulsborne games have, like, full areas. And then... Uh, like, they'll have, they'll have full... Areas where it's, like, its own thing, and then they'll have, like, transition areas. Where it's, like... You're just going from place A to place B, and it's just a way to connect two full areas. Mm. But this is a full area, but it really feels like a transition area. And I don't know why, but it does. Hello, dog. Bark, bark, yep. You said it, brother. Over here. Get the, like, halfway point. Which is weird, because I thought that one was the halfway point, but... Something very interesting. At least in my mind. The lightest of all great shields. 
and as you can see it weighs 7 and it's a great shield. But here, this is also a great shield and it weighs 6.5. So it says lightest of all great shields, but this is actually lighter. And I mean, I know this very slowly regenerates HP, and so it's like you want to have that. And then it's like, well, you want this to have something special, so just call it the lightest. But also, this is found a lot later in the game. So I wonder if they made this, and then later on made this, and just kind of forgot about it. But it's like, I really love auto-healing. Which is healing that just happens passively while you just stand there. Which, things like this, the Ethereal Oak Shield, the Sun Princess Ring, Blessed Weapons. All those things do auto-healing. As much as I love it and as much as I use the Ancient Dragon Great Shield on PC. Because I don't have the DLC. On console I have the DLC and for that I use the Ethereal Oak Shield. But... For here, I use this, and it's like, I wouldn't mind this going up to 7, so that way this could be called the lightest of all great shields, and have that be, like, an honest description. I don't think that, uh, I don't think that developers went out of their way to lie. I think, I think they just made... The two great shields really far apart and kind of forgot about it. Which, like, it's a small little nitpicky mistake. It's fine. Like, it's not a problem that I have with the game, it's just something I find kind of funny. You guys can stop wailing on me. I'm just trying to laugh about shields and item descriptions. This is rude. Doop. Air tech staff. Alright. Yeah, down there. I think that's an ember. Over there, that's a nesta shard. That's something I'm just going to skip because it's New Game Plus. Hi. How are you? You should have used your shield. I'm sorry that you didn't. I don't know what's wrong with you. Eight here. I really like him. He's cool. Well, this is unexpected. I don't often have visitors. He's a very cool voice. I like it a lot. Well, what this is if you have... How intriguing. Very well. In how much clearly so you that in the fall well. So when there's that pause and then it was very well. Uh if your intelligence is low enough, he'll actually just straight up say no. And then you have to go and like put a few points into intelligence. Which is nice nice little detail. Very well. You're no I am un we will Very well. Also, he just comes back and starts yelling at you. It's like, I was gonna use these. Hi, how you doing? Good attack. And yeah, down there, there's one of the, like, gremlin troll has a cross on their back, guys. Mm. Which, I mean, good trap. Hello. <coughs> Ow. I just gotta get these giant lasers out of here. They hurt. 
I only have 15 healing flasks. Come on, please. Also, Egan. Egan is very weird. At least in the way that I tend to interact with things, because... I usually go through and kill an entire area, or kill up until the boss. And then I'll summon the NPC helper for very specifically the boss, and only the boss. But... For this... Like, like for this specific area... And the specific boss, Egan is not good. He's he's not good against the boss. He's way too slow. Alright, goodbye. Which kind of sucks, because I like Egan. But yeah, it's like... By the time he even gets a single attack off, the boss is already teleported away. Nice. But yeah, the boss is already teleported away. And then he usually, like, swings twice. And then it's like, well, that puts him even farther behind. And then he just has a really hard time catching up. And so, while I normally use NPCs, that was a mistake. Mistake to swing twice. Egan, can you stop killing the tiny baby crabs? And help me with this Goliath of a monster. <laughs> Please. We can bully the baby is all you want after this. There you go. Thank you, took you long enough. Don't spit on me. Stop going out to the babies. The babies have done nothing to you. Yeah, yeah, hit him. There you go. Like I said, Egan, very slow. I love him, but... This man is a turtle. But it's like, this is the one area, and he's the one NPC where it's like, I summon them for the area, not the boss. Because normally, I can walk all over the area. Or at least I can get through the area on my own. Here there are giant, like, giga crabs. They're terrifying. Have you ever faced a giga crab? Because I haven't. Lingering Dragon Crest Ring plus one. <laughs> I don't know where exactly he spawns. I think it's over here somewhere. I know, because I usually clear out that entire sideline. Oh, uh, there he is. Wonk. Ow. <clears throat> There's something in my throat, and I don't know what it is. I don't like it. I, I just keep whacking him on the head. But also, there's a giant crab. I'm sorry. Did the giant crab hit him? Like, did the giant crab hit Yellowfinger? Yellowfinger's an invader. I didn't even know it could. That's awesome. Because, like, normally invaders are immune to enemies. Anyways. Yeah, you kill that one, you get 
Great Swamp Ring for boosted pyromancies. I don't know if I did this in new game, like on the new game run. I normally do it, but giant crabs are scary. And then, doop. And then we can go take care of them after the boss. Well, actually... Oh, Egan? Alright, there you are. I was gonna say, where are you, bud? He's off murdering baby crabs. Okay. Ah. Uh. Nah. I mean, I guess we can keep you around just to be, like, a distraction. Also, you don't want to run too far ahead of the NPCs, because they'll get stuck on walls for some reason. I'm sure there's an explanation for it, I just don't know it. But, gotta keep an eye on them. Make sure they don't get stuck anywhere. Yeah, let's use Extendo Katana. Let's heal, cause... You do a lot of damage. And I like to smack you from far away. And also, this is the Katana that... You get with this armor set, so... Oh, yeah, that's a lot of damage. Crystal... I don't know what the point of the crystals are. Like, I don't understand why they pop up. Get on out of here. Yeah. Look how delayed those two swings were. That thing was gone for, like, a year and a half. I mean, you gotta hit off there. Oh, yeah. A very delayed swing. Another extremely delayed swing. Yeah. And now a bunch of them appear. And all the blue ones are fake imposters, but it can be good to get rid of them, just so that way they're shooting you in the face. Yeah, because several giant laser beams straight to the mouth can hurt. Uh, yeah, it turns out they hurt. And they can kind of stun you. A lot. But without, without resting, so that way these guys don't respawn. And these guys don't respawn. You can go over here. And once I'm done recording, I'm definitely gonna get whatever's in my throat out of my throat. So that way I can talk without feeling like I'm underwater. Cause that that's kinda what it feels like. Hello. I might be sick, but I <coughs> ow. I mean probably not. It's like I don't think I'd get sick. twice in a row like that. That doesn't tend to happen. But you can normally have both. Like both of them just fall down. But I move down a step. Which, 
let this guy climb down. Ooh. Hi. Yeah, yeah, just keep going for it. I, I like never use those attacks. Also, something that no idea why I remember, but out there there's a plus one ring. I think it's plus one. Might be plus two, but I, I think it's plus one. Either way. That lets you get rid of those two guys. And also gets you the fair and keep bonfire, and then you can go back to Crystal Sage. And then you can just keep moving on. Which, that was the Crucifixion Woods. And then this, this area would be like, what is this area really? Like, is this the Crucifixion Woods? No, because you beat the boss and you left. Would you... Would you call this part of the Cathedral of the Deep? I don't think so. At least I wouldn't call it part of the Cathedral of the Deep. So for me, this is this would be one of those transition areas. Goodbye. They get so excited from seeing you and then you're just like, nah. I used to fight them, but now I just can't be bothered. Oop. I'm sorry. I, I don't know why they keep trying to throw daggers. Or throwing knives. Nope. Sorry, did you... Did you really just try to block that? Well, successfully block it? Yeah, 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 just, just keep backing up. Keep backing up, see how that works out for you. Yeah, I really don't use those, the, like, special attacks. Unless they're really, really strong. Which, outside of Elden Ring, I haven't really seen any really, really strong ones. I don't know why the ones in Elden Ring, or why some of the ones in Elden Ring are so strong. I mean, maybe there are some in all the games that are really strong, and I just haven't looked at them. Definitely a possibility. But, I've noticed a lot of strong skills in Elden Ring. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, just... Strange that there are just so many. At least that I've noticed, compared to... Compared to at least Dark Souls 3. Which, I mean, that's fine, because I don't... I don't put a focus on skills. No, okay. Again, new game plus, I don't need the item that's over there. I think it was just like some souls. That was it. All right, goodbye. Boosh. I don't know why they do that, but they do. I don't know what they're trying to accomplish. I mean, they're trying to, like, body slam you, but... I feel like they'd be less guaranteed to die if they didn't. 
If they didn't stab themselves and light themselves on fire. I don't know, maybe that's a personal thing, but that doesn't seem like the best of ideas. Extendo Katana. That works. And over there, New Game Plus, don't need it. That's... That's one of the good things about New Game Plus. Is you can really look at things and just go, nah. I got everything I need. And so it allows you to just really sprint through the game. Only grabbing... What's necessary. Or, like, the really impactful items. Like, weapons, armor, uh, rings, I suppose. Hi. <clears throat> and another one of these areas. I do really like how he'll just go around just shooting wherever those trees are. It's like he's the Lorax, protector of the trees. We're also not going down there because we don't need anything there. But hey, you can see him from up there, which is nice. It, it, it's just really nice to see where you've been or where you're going from multiple different areas. Also, giant door. I think that's bait for people to think like, oh, this is the boss. Because down there where we picked up the shield, that's like a shortcut. So it's like, oh yeah, you get a shortcut right before the boss door. Yeah, that makes sense. But it's not a boss door. Not even a door you can open. Yet. Oh, the rude. I have to sneeze, but I really can't sneeze. Do you ever get that? It's maddening. Oh, once you go down there, then he drops down because he's like, aha! They've forgotten about me. I can now move forward and shoot them in the back. And... Hi. Nope. See, it's like, I feel like you'd have a better chance of success, both in life and in killing me. Okay. Hi. So, this is something I actually didn't realize while playing Elden Ring. Because at that point I hadn't played this game in a while. I think it's something I noticed on my second run through with this again. Because I think it was part 12 of my last Dark Souls 3 series. Where OBS did an update and it changed the record button without telling me, by the way. So thanks, OBS. But it changed the record button. And that was like the one time I didn't test to make sure everything was running. New Game Plus not doing that. So, uh. Kind of on me as well. But, so it didn't let me record that, or it didn't record that, and then, so I had to make a new character, and I, the entire time, I was just talking to myself about Elden Ring. You gonna come out? 
Alright, I'll go to you. But... It was like seven, seven and a half full hours where I just played non-stop to try to get back to that point. So I could get the recording done. And I was talking about Elden Ring to myself the entire time. And I got to these guys and I was like, hey, these guys have like the exact same moveset as the uh, like little gremlin gnome things. The ones you commonly find in like catacombs. All right, chill, a deadly ballet dancer. This is why we have the Extendo Katana. So that way we can just be like, nah. You want to stay far away from us? That doesn't matter. I feel like if you just tried to attack me with your sword instead of attacking yourself with the sword, I feel like that'd work out better. Again, New Game Plus, not, not gonna bother with that. And we can move on. Ever forward. Also, how many giant doors does this cathedral have? So you have one, you have the one over there, you have two down below us right now. So that'd be four, you have, I think, one over by Rosaria, so that'd be five. That's five giant doors. Also, this is a trap, by the way. That is a horrible trap. It's such a bad trap that I didn't even know it was a trap until, like, my fifth run. I have no idea how many times I've beaten this game at this point. But... I legitimately didn't know that was a trap for a good long while. Because it's just that bad at being a trap. Kind of like the, uh... Like, swords in the ground and carry a manor. Where you walk over them and then... They, like, pop out of the ground. And then a full, like, second or two later... A... <laughs> like soul arrow type thing comes up it like it's just so slow it's so delayed hi yeah see it like that you could just try attacking normally like everyone else does is that what I wanted to do I'm a big fan of versatility in video games and being able to customize. And hi. Hi. Stun dog Donald killed him. Hello. Getting rid of them just so when we go down go down under. It'll be easier. But yeah, it's like... I think you can do it... in the controls. Like, change jump. Hi. But also... PC is weird and really doesn't like when you try to change controller controls it just really isn't a fan so again I love this series 
it was absolutely not streamlined for her PC. Which, like, some games simply aren't. That's not inherently a bad thing. It just feels kind of weird. Having something... Ooh, Cathedral Knight Armor. I think I have like three of these. But also, I really like Cathedral Knight Armor, so... Happy to have more. Yeah, it just feels weird finding a game that's so unoptimized for PC. Like, to, to give an example of both Dark Souls 3 and Elden Ring, Hi. Like, I'm playing on PC. And if you look, the button prompts is A for Xbox controller. You cannot change this on PC, by the way. Y you don't get a mouse and keyboard option for the computer version of the game. We can do that later. But it's just very strange to me. Uh, 46 minutes in. Hmm. Nah, I guess we can do this. Yeah, it's just very strange to me. That it's like, yeah, sure, this is the computer version, but you don't get computer control button prompts. And then, in Elden Ring, they fix that. You can have mouse and keyboard or Xbox control. Which is nice. But then, they turn... <clears throat> Again, oh my god. Losing my voice. I don't know what's happening. Help. But again, they turn around. <clears throat> oh my god. Yeah, I'm really gonna have to do like a deep cleaning of my throat after this. I have no idea what's going on in there. But anyways. On... On your mouse, like, you, you can move a lot faster on your mouse. And... Personally, I'm a big fan of being able to look around while talking to NPCs. So that way, you can do things like... Admire the scenery, and check if there's any enemies. You know, stuff like that. But... In... In Elden Ring... You can't do that. If you try moving a mouse, it's as if you got like the pause menu up and your mouse like your mouse actually shows up on screen. In Dark Souls 3, this doesn't happen. If you if you talk to an NPC and try looking around, you can just look around normally. And I've heard some people, like, there are some people who will defend from software tooth and nail no matter what. And I love from software. I do. But I think it's important to recognize when some, when something could be better. I think it's important to recognize when improvements can be made. Meh. Because, and I think it's important to criticize things that you like because they could be better. 
and blind blind faith blind adoration is not the way to go about things But, so, you guys are mean, you guys are mean, but, so, sometimes I criticize them, and the people who are just all, just always stalwart defenders of them, have said, like, well, you need the pop-up, or you need to be able to move your mouse, so that way you, you can do things like click on prompts when they pop up, like they yes and no, or to make a decision. But it's like, Dark Souls 3 already figured that out. I haven't played any of the older games on mouse and keyboard, so I don't know if they've also done it. Yeah, th this is why I usually call for help, just uh, just so that way I don't become a ping pong. Because that's what this is. These guys are playing ping pong with me. Alright, there we go. But they say that you need to be able to move your mouse. That way you can do things like click yes or no. But in Dark Souls 3, you can look around and then when a yes or no thing pops up, then your mouse shows up. They could have just kept that. They could have just not changed anything and it would have been fine. They had to go out of their way to make a change that made the PC version worse. And I don't know why they went out of their way to do that, but they did. And like I said, I love FromSoft. I love these games. I wouldn't sink thousands of hours into them if I didn't. It's just important to recognize sometimes you can do better. FromSoft is great. Sometimes you can do better. And next time we're either going to st start off in Fair and Keep or Firelink. Who knows? Maybe we'll record in a month. <laughs>